All right, we're back. So, a little bit about what just happened. Um, when I started the screen, the capture card decided to freak out and not want to capture Zomboid and or crash every time I tried to open or close Zomboid. So, I had to finagle with that. It does seem to be working now, so I'm going to say that's a good thing, obviously. And... To catch everyone up, we did the tutorial, you know, fine, died horribly, all that good stuff. And now we have the adventures of Todd Cox, who is deaf, illiterate, disorganized, weak stomach, and, you know, like every good traits, which are significantly less fun. Um, I don't think I took damage. Yeah, I seem to be okay. But there are zombies kind of chasing me, and I'm lost in the woods, so I don't exactly have any weapons either. I have a bowl full of water, though. I got that going for me. May enter your hands. Lovely. How do I remove? Oh, left click. Don't run. Precision. I have some water, but I don't know if it's clean. I'm also just looking for a house I can scavenge, because I kind of ran far ways away. And I thought I was following the road, but the road may have gotten untenable. circle, mostly because I think I am, but I otherwise have no clue where I'm going, so just gonna follow a path until I die. Did something see me, or did I just step in something? Because that was weird. Well, I extended the path, so I am now a woodsman. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I gotta stay there. Alright, I'm foraging. You can't stop me. I'm going to have all the berries. One day. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like I got a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, I got exactly nothing. I'm gonna boost up the speed, because I'm lost. Or is that not how this works? Hope there's something more than endless forest, cause that would uh suck. This looks fairly clear for you know. Yeah, it is fairly clear. It's just a whole lot of nothing. Jeez. Is this like a border of the map, or what's going on here? House. Hell yeah. It's actually just a chicken coop, but there is a house behind it. Can I crawl in through there? Do I have to break down the door, or is it just straight up locked? Oh well. Shed. Oh, 
Oh, is the window not open? Holy shit. I have no clue where they came from, and I am woefully unequipped. I got a vest, though. Just a moment. Try and figure out why. All right. All I have to do. All right. Back to our regularly scheduled. I'm going to die. Yeah, like that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I am bleeding. I'm in pain. The barn was definitely not the right place to go. I feel like I just kind of want to die. Rip Todd Cox, but... I feel like it might be over. I haven't gotten, like, anything good except... A bit of food. Also, don't like being deaf. Probably shouldn't venture into the forest again, huh? Right click to draw to show treatment menu. I I am right clicking. I don't seem to be able to treat myself. Hmm. It's the wrong button to close. I think I'm happy to sack this one, unless there's something amazing in this shed. By amazing, I don't mean zombies. Padakin. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but thank you for following. It means a lot, especially because I have no clue what I'm doing. can grab these five nails. Those five nails are for you. I didn't even pick them all up. I do not want to listen to hug bunnies. I do seem to be deaf, so I'm just going to turn back off. Is there water? Can I, can I wash my, my wounds? Does say right click and let me tell you, he ain't doing anything for me, so I guess I don't have what I need. Hmm. Oh well, wrong button. Might as well take a radio. No harm in it's gonna die. Take the skirt? Yes. Will I wear the skirt? No. And then there's some more. 
most obvious, right in the place I wanted to go. to get to the uh, info. It's a whole lot of farmland, and let me tell you, I need something more medicinal than strike up farmland. I don't think I have anything. Can I, can I scrap the skirt and wrap my wounds? Is that how that works? Oh, hell yeah. Rip clothing. I don't know what this does for me, but... I, uh... have no clue. Can I use that ripped whatever as a bandage? Improvised bandage, hell yeah. Should probably also eat. Eat uh, all of it. I'm like dying. Might as well. Skill in pain, skill injured. It'll be fine. One of these days, I'll learn the right buttons, or in all the games like I normally play, I'm used to mashing escape to close everything, and let me tell you, it's just not right here. I also seem to be stumbling on more zombies. Ooh, pavement. Is there civilization ahead? The... M God, I hope so. Maybe hospital, or like... Some work asleep that's not under the trees or a weapon. Cause I got I got a lighter. I think that's the only thing I can use as a weapon since I broke my one bucket knife. Just gonna follow the road. Try not to die. I really hope this isn't just like a country highway I'm on that will just go on for miles and miles and won't exactly do much for me. So because I'm bandaged, I should be fine, right? I want to remove the bandage. I don't think it's like I don't think it would be infected before I sleep or anything. I mean, I take that back. It's probably infected, but I don't need to change the bandage yet, I can imagine. This would be hilarious if this rogue just took me back, like, to the very place I scared to get, and ju I just didn't see this road. Because granted, my internal mapping skills aren't great, but it kinda looks like it. Oh, 
Oh, dirty bandage. I guess that's my cue to take it off. Oh god. Antic is infected. Alright, we're just going to talk about it. It'll be fine. Is there supposed to be ambient noise and music? I mean, my character is deaf, so I guess I understand why there isn't, but would be nice. So that way I don't just walk into zombies while I'm not paying attention. Well, there's some music anyway. go down that sandy path or whatever you want to call that, but now that there's a side road. That hopefully leaks to, you know, somewhere. Somewhere without a giant following of zombies. Is that car? Can I drive it? Walk to. I want to walk to. I want to get in. I. Do I need to fix up the car before I can? Oh god. I guess the mechanics are loud, huh? A parking lot indicates that there's something cool nearby. I hope it'd be a shaky place for a parking lot to have nothing nearby. It's literally just a parking lot, the fuck? Smash! Oh god. Does that mean I can gig in it? Assuming I don't, you know, die? Take it back, there's a warehouse right here. Oh, they're coming. I, uh... I don't seem to be doing so hot. Whole lot of zombies. Not a whole lot of things I need to survive. Or, you know, sleep. Hmm, I wouldn't feel nearly as bad if I had a weapon, but let me tell you, 
Don't have one of those. Can't check mailboxes. I think there's anything relevant inside of those. Seemingly not. Garbage bag. Sheet of paper. Oh, you can open them. I was just clicking the wrong button. somewhere to like drop all this all this zombie aggression and you know bandage my poor left arm oh I'm so gonna die in here you think they saw me cause I think they saw me Oh yeah, he's bashing. Can't stay here. Really want to though, looks like a nice place. Why are you running at me? Also, am I doing like a perfect moonwalk or... Oh. I might be now, but... Because you can't kill people with your bare hands, you can just shove them, right? And it doesn't knock them over, it just pushes them back. One male ain't cool contraband. Cause let me tell ya, a ye old mailbox shiv would do me some big favors right now. Yeah, there's a uh, zombies there. I don't know how to lose zombies without a weapon, or running, but Mr. I don't know what kind of animal he was on the survival guide, so don't do that. Side note, open this door, please. Come on, I believe in you. Alright. Alright, get me away from a window. And get me... Ooh, can, can I pull down the blinds? Hell yeah. Alright, I'll probably die in here, but... It gives me a moment to... You know... Try to not die. You should dry self one wet. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, huh? I can use the shower for water, but not much else it would seem. Motherfuck. <laughs> Alright, sorry, language, whatever, but I was really hoping that zombie wouldn't be there. And it helps if I hold the right button, the correct button, which is E, and stick of mashing it. Upper torso, scratch. As they say, help.
not sure I buy it, but it's a whole lot better than absolutely not. Good for now. I don't know what the hell I need nails for. Uh, can't use nails for a campfire. Can open the tomato seeds, but I don't think I'm staying around here. Carpentry. So if I get a baseball back, I can spike that guy up, but. or a plank. I don't have a hammer of any sort. Gas all doesn't get me too much without anything else. Yeah, uh, heck if I know. Just gonna shove something in my mouth and be done with it. Do I have any non canned food? Yeah, that, that shortbread will probably go bad before anything else does. Dangerous uncooked. Guess I better learn how to make fire then, huh? It was. Plank, and then something. Not sure how I get plank though. I'm assuming you have to cut down something or other. Do I sleep? I feel like I should. I'll either die in my sleep or know how to manage backer, so we'll do it. Am I sure? No. Will it be fun? Probably not, but we're still doing it. Well, now it's just night time, and now I'm scared. Um, what don't I need? I don't care for the light bulb. I don't think I care for the mirror, either. I don't care for the empty cans. I don't think. Can't comb my hair. trust the coffee, mostly because I don't have water or fire, but I guess I shouldn't trust any of this food then, huh? I definitely don't need a box of nails, I don't think. Just try and make carry weight for some reason. Uh, I'm hungry again, lovely. Um... I'll keep a fork, because why not? A spoon I don't trust as a weapon. Not against zombies who don't need eyes anyway. Uh... See, I don't know if dirty bandages are good or bad, so... I'm theoretically okay, but I also don't want to be 
get more infected than what I was. However, I know if I leave it too long, I'll just get more infected anyway, so... I'll sleep again, because I thought it would sleep me towards day, not night. Um, let me tell you, I'm scared of the night. Oh, I can't get back to sleep. Alright, well, nighttime shenanigans, I guess. Uh, close that, close that. Alright, I am afraid, but it's happening. Really don't care for a doll, I'm sorry. Come on, I believe in you. Open the window. Do you hold E to force open? Or is it just locked and I'm wasting my time? Guessing that one's just straight up locked. Are these light switches? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh god. Oh, I thought I saw something in the shadows. A hammer's good. Can be a weapon or make fancy things. Oh god. That were a whole lot of zombies. Was, were, whatever. Oh god. Guess my home's compromised. Alright. Same problem I had earlier, but, you know, darker and scarier. Although I do have a red pen now, which surely will keep me alive. Maybe not against a horde, but... Zombies language, sorry, whatever. Somewhere, God. Something tells me street lights not gonna do it for me. seem to have sustained any additional damage, so we'll say that's fine. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna follow the road, because I can't see elsewhere, so... The game said don't run, but... Oh, that... that would be... <laughs> that would be why, huh? Running does make a bunch of noise, I guess. There's a house, but there's, you know, also that zombie. Oh god, my pen broke. I don't know how to switch back and forth between primary and secondary, so... Well, now I have one of both.
just saw a zombie somewhere. Am I panicked because I suck and it's night time? Well, you always gotta follow the old abandoned path. Now excursing it into progressively more dirt, so I, I do hope there's a cabin at the end of this, or I'm gonna be stuck in the middle of the woods again. I don't know if it's just getting brighter, which it actually might be, because that would make sense, but I can actually see things now. How does foraging work? 100% full. Gimme. Did I not kick anything? Do I just not understand foraging? Unknown berry. Well, we'll pop back in our mouth. No reason not to. Hey, wasn't poisonous yet. Just a moment. Apologies. This is a whole lot of, eh, I guess it could be sand, but I was going to say concrete for there to be absolutely nothing here. Yeah, right, back to the road. Need to figure out how to get planks, start a fire, even though a fire probably will attract more zombies. It occurs to me I could probably turn on the ovens and cook that way, huh? I tried to blow up the first house I was in just by turning on the oven and equipping a lager, but I guess the game thought of that, and it's really just for cooking and only light. Alright, I don't want to have a single zombie follower the whole time, so my thing broke. And I don't know how to swap to my secondary. Well, it somehow equips the hammer. side. 
inhabits this massive clearing. I mean, there's a zombie, but I'd rather not. I'm calling an audible. I'm just going back to the road. Granted, I have family in Kentucky, but I don't actually know the relative layout of Kentucky as to which parts are rural and which parts aren't. The game is set place in several locations in Kentucky for some reason, because I guess the derby is how the zombie apocalypse will start. But, oh well. Can I forage anything, or does it have to, like, look like it has berries, I wonder? I can forage. I don't know what I'm gonna get from it, but I'm doing it. it would tell me what I got, if anything. Unknown berry. Well, we're just gonna have to eat that one, too. Still not poisoned yet, so must be alright. Although it occurs to me these might be the same berries from earlier. to the highway. Modera. Moldero? Yeah, that's probably more correct, huh? Well, at least I have some semblance of a destination. I guess there are, and I just haven't found them yet, but I almost wish there were more crap weapons immediately available to you. Like, I'm thinking about something like Dying Light, where you can pick up a baseball bag or a plank of wood or, like, you know, a stick or something and just whack people with it until it breaks in, like, five hits, but at least you get five good hits in. Unlike this, where I... It's probably on me for just not knowing where or how to look, but I have yet to find a weapon other than forks and knives. And I guess technically the hammer and saw, but those seem like more builder's tools that I don't want to destroy yet. I was told Moldero would be this way, but... Well, actually to the left of the way I'm facing on the road, but we haven't gotten to the left part yet. Unless it wanted me to take an immediately, or a immediate left where I was. Well, there's the left. was the exact same road and corner I was following earlier, which it honestly might be, so that, that would be kind of unfortunate. Then not 
I'm saying, I guess, but I got that nagging voice in my head that definitely tells me, I guess, so. Am I still, like, doing alright? He says I'm okay, despite these being dirty. I don't know what that sand path kind of looks like, the one I was considering taking her- Oh god. I am in- back in the same spot. Last time I went down that... side street, and there was a whole horde and a half, just... kind of there, so... I don't know, maybe I missed Moldero and just need to keep walking this way? Although this could just be bringing me back to where I first started the game, which I guess won't be too bad. Maybe have a second chance to find... find houses. That's the car whose one shield I smashed, so can I like get in and start that? I really hope the smashing, like, gets me in the car, as opposed to just, you know, breaking the car. Aha! There's no fuel. And I don't have the keys, yikes. Key and ignition. Huh? It doesn't have gas anyway, I should get out before this is a problem. Although, if all those frickin' zombies left, I could explore this warehouse or whatever's going on here. Because the first time I scouted this way, there was... I was just being chased. Is that a zombie in the window? I don't know what that is. Bleach? There's clearly some kind of chemical on there, but I guess I can only take the thread. Oh hell yeah, it's all that guy in the back of chips. I don't know how many water bottles I need, but... Oh, well, I have one too many, I guess. Ah, uh, how many do I have? Three? I'll drop one. Oh, well. Dropped all three. Grab half. Should give me two, right? Oh, mother. 
Holy, why are there so many zombies? Oh my, <laughs> oh no. Well, I think that will do it. Rip Todd Cox, you tried your best, but I, I don't know what I did to make so much noise. They, they all came from nowhere. I think that will, I don't know. It's dropping the water bottles like a dick. Alright. I guess that means I did die, so time to increment that. If that works. Actually will work. Oh, it's exclamation point. Alright, I died once. Laugh it up. While I do some background torch things as well. Mostly I want to put a marker in, and I think I can do that, but I don't actually know. Yes, sir, I appreciate that. Um... I opened to the front page and scanned and the channel, so bear with me. And this one, bear with me. And this one, bear with me. And now there's that ugly echo. Alright, let me get to the right place in Twitch, because I was running off of Streamlabs OBS instead of making it nice and easy, or at least where I want it to be. to cooperate and stop being stacky and overheating, that'd be cool too, but one thing at a time. Alright, I finally got to 